Now we're going to go up the allotment, but I just want to give you a little update on a couple of little things. One is my compost bins that I've got, the house compost bins that I've got up here. So come on, we'll just go into the garden and I'll give you a little update on what's going on with compost bins because I've got, there's an old video where I showed you what I do with my compost bins here. Everything gets recycled in our house and I'll just spin you around nice and gently. There you go. So two compost bins and I want to get one more that I've got me kind of set and I've been working over the couple of years with these. So this one is the one I'm using at the moment and as you can see she's nearly full of goodness. <laughs> she's Grass cuttings, eggshells, lemon, everything. You know what I mean? There's, a, there's an old leak there. Use coffee, all my coffee stuff, gra grounds. Sawdust as well, nice ch chunky sawdust I've been putting in there as well. Well, that one's nearly full, but this is the one that I kind of used and is finished. Look at that. Look at that, man. Oh, -ho. I mean, I could actually take that up the allotment now, but I'm just going to leave it for a, a little bit longer and I noticed which is kind of obvious corks don't they don't they don't break down <laughs> a little bit obvious but that's the sawdust I've been putting in from me kind of chainsaw when I've been cutting the logs and as soon as I put that in it just broke down as quick as anything so yes really good that now people have been asking about that thing there Daisy Daisy, Daisy, Daisy. <laughs> People want to say hello to you. Sit, sit, sit. D yes, training's going very well, as you can see. Daisy? I, I, <laughs> you just woke up. She got on the table when I was at the garden the other day. And she got on the kitchen table and she bloody ate. Friends had brought over a lemon meringue pie. <laughs> she ate the bloody lot. Daisy, Daisy, Daisy. Hey, what you got? What you got? So that's Daisy. You've kind of seen her growing over the, the months as well. Right then, let's get up that allotment. I've got a tape measure. So we've got things to measure up there. Right then, we're just having a bit of an easy day today. <laughs> Pushing and pulling and lifting and that and pulled me back. It actually wasn't bad. Didn't even take a tablet. I'm just brave. <laughs> oh, well, leave me pillar. Push me pillar up. So what I've come up today to do, the main thing, is, or two things, is to test audio. I've recently got myself some new audio. I love I love tech and I love audio equipment and I'm trying a new audio system here which I have been trying on my new camera or my, my, my kind of normal camera for up here but I'm trying it now on the GoPro so GoPro Hero 7 with I don't know if you can see down there a little Rode Wireless Go which to be honest is fantastic but I've now got it hooked up with the, the GoPro so I'm testing that for my, for my purposes, but what I want to do, I'll just turn you around there, is this polytunnel is due to go in, in October, once the kind of tomato season is going, I did a GoFundMe page there, which would thank you so much, everyone that supported the GoFundMe. And what I want to do is like, because I'm, taller than this door do you know what I mean and I'm kind of let's just get in there you know I stand up straight that drives me crackers that <laughs> drives me crackers then this bit here look at this bit here do you know what I mean so I want to I want a polytunnel with height now yes I could you know scrimp and scrape and and this one's I'm saying 15 year old probably, you know what I mean? It's had loads, it's had probably had four skins on it in that time. But it's a fair old thing and I just think, you know, it's about time I just got a new one. And a proper, like I bought one. 
and I was watching who's I was watching Liz Liz Zorab got herself a new nice and the polish looks fabulous oh and I'm gonna probably go through who Liz went direct I think it's direct plants and the reason was is I like this chunkiness of the poly you know what I mean this kind of and the the galvanized poles that Liz was using just looked amazing now Liz got I think it was 14 foot by 30 foot and that was huge and it's about nine foot high man i got two pole vaulting in it and that's what i want i want somewhere where it's big enough now as well so when i'm in here doing this this is you know it, it, a studio a garden studio where you're not really getting battered by the wind because a lot of times you come up here you're fighting again audio and all that kind of nonsense you're fighting with the the elements to try and get a decent video out and you, you know if you want to kind of do like say one every other day sometimes it's a bugger so it'd be nice to have a nice big one and just come in here on 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 days and do work in in the polytunnel as well you know and again do that throughout the year that's the the holy grail of allotment growers you know what i mean like to get your plants grown right throughout the year so i'm going to do a quick measurement <laughs> and i'm going to ask google how to convert it and the beauty with this audio is i can talk now without and just leave you kind of over there so i'm kind of interested to find out what this is there now in terms of because i'm not like i say it's a, it's a jerry rig home built affair and i just want a rough idea of what That's us on. <laughs> Let's have a look. Just about 390 centimetres. Okay, Google. What's 390 centimetres as feet? 390 centimetres equal 12 feet 9.543 inches. So yeah, I mean you're, you're kind of talking about 13 there, so that would actually be great because the the, the one I was thinking of is would be nice to get is the 14 foot one. Well, there's 12 foot or 14 foot, and I'll drop put a link to it if you if you're kind of interested in polytunnels as well. But I'm going. You see how these sides are kind of they're just snowblers. That's always been the kind of bugbear. Is there's there's not much height. I want some kind of height, and you can get straight-sided ones as well as this kind of this curved. You know, they've got two different models, so that's the case. But I'm probably going to have to move me hut. So let's just see where. Tell you what, tell you what, I'll ask Google again. Okay, Google, what's 14 foot in centimeters? 14 feet equal 426.72 centimeters. 426, right then, right then. 400, just say roughly there, 420. 426. Yeah, that hut will have to move and I'll have like a, a border. So where do I put that hut? There is a 12 foot one. But I'm not... There's 12 foot be there, which would be a little bit shorter than that. I don't know, I'll have a think, I'll have a think. I like, I like the idea of 14 foot, to be honest. Oh yeah, man. <laughs> Getting bad tempered with a bloody tape measure now. Right, it's about 19 and a half at the moment.
Yep, so wider and bigger. Certainly could. Do, do, do. Just checking things, just check. Yes, <laughs> be none of this, man. Be none of this stuff. Oh, oh. <laughs> See, I'm getting <laughs> dropped. The bloody thing fell off. There'd be none of this. Wouldn't so it's all nice and kind of aluminium, galvanized metal, you know, rock solid support. So that's a nice thing. Yeah, probably about 22 by 14 would be an ideal size for me again it means moving the hut but so where do i put that hut and i was thinking as you do this when you wake up at two in the morning and think about your garden is possibly putting it where this chard you know on this kind of little plinth here or make like a little kind of section there and stick it there with the i don't know would that block the sun? Not really, I don't think, but I'll be actually the only one, just turn you around there, that would have it there. All them huts have theirs on that side, but not here. Now, where else could I put it? To be honest, I might, I might as well measure the bloody thing. I brought it to you. Measure it, why not? So, it is, let's have a look. Get it, come on. And come on, one-handed, one-handed. Oh, 72. 72 inches. Let's see what that is up here. Dun, 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 dun. And to be honest, I'm thinking for what I would lose with sun just on this little bit here would be not, not that bloody, you know, much of a loss so front on would be like halfway yeah i could live with that I'd live with that be halfway up that that chard there you see what i'm saying right in the middle of that chard so it still gives us a little bit there you know for another chard bed <laughs> yep i think that's that's a bloody job and a half mind you yeah. an old boy like me shifting that I could do that kind of pretty quickly, you know what I mean? Not pretty quickly, but I might actually would it bloody come to bits. It's been there for a year dot. I'm not sure. Or do I stick it there, somewhere there? Then you wouldn't get light there. Eee, come on, right. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to get up on this wall and I'm going to show you. Let's get this up. Not on the wall, man. I'm going to burn my bloody self. Right, that's the garden. So, what do you think? Down the bottom? That hut? Or somewhere there? I mean, if I put it there, then it's, it's going to go. It's kind of going to go, you know out the windows of this this hut here but if i do take it that means you know that's a nice size polytunnel 14 foot she's a wide owl thing you know e there we go right get the old fella down here i'll <laughs> be back no no it's actually lovely just not doing stuff i know i've got things to do but i'm not gonna Foot off the off the pedal, as they say, for the time being. Just having a little look around, get me uh, any honestly any thoughts you've got on the polytunnel. I like the idea of the 14 foot wide. It's a lot of work, but it just I like that idea. Then you know, just more sp it's spaces. That real estate is just so good, and especially. You know through the window when you've got all that space as well to kind of put in stuff i'm talking to myself sorry about that listen look after yourselves take good care